en welkom bij Van en Sinkas. Today I'm going to be back on the internet. I'm going to be so easy. 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 I'm going to that's <laughs> Right, that you see in lines three and four, and the gap is actually there to emphasize the words that follow. That beklemt when die woorde wat volg, en ons sien daar die jou en my word beklemt when of uitgelig, uitgelig is highlighted. So die inkeping, hoe word die jou en die my beklemt when, daar is inkeping, daar is kort vers weels, oeskies, daar is kort vers weels en ja, die jou en die my word aan die einde van die sin gesit. Goed. You have to note, if I put a little star there at the right hand side bottom, that if you ask the question, was that a wink from you to me, it is, it has to do something with affection, okay? So affection often comes along with a wink, okay? So, um... And that's where we get the idea that this might be a love poem, right? About a guy that's in love with a girl. Good. He asks a rhetorical question. Um, okay, so that is where we are at. This is the opening stanza. I don't want, I don't want anyone to feel overwhelmed. We're going to get to it. All right. So I want you to imagine. Um, I want you, I just want to create context. So. Um, I always say that I can be in South Africa and my husband can be in, let's say, um, America. And it doesn't matter that he's on a different continent than me. When he looks up at the sky and I look at the sky and we see, let's say, the morning star or the evening star and the, or we see the moon or whatever, we can almost have an assurance that even though we are not together, looking up at the sky, like we are both looking at something that is there. And I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I used to go on holiday when I was younger, and um, I always had this special star in the sky. And I always, it was always tough for me on during the December holidays to go away on holiday with my parents because I wanted to stay in Jay Bay with my friends. And um, but then I always had this thing of we went camping and I went and when we walked in the evenings or wherever and I looked up at the stars, like knowing, looking at a certain, there was a certain patch of stars that I always saw and that just made me feel close to my friends. So that's just a random, you know, thing. Um, so this guy um, looking up at the evening star for him, that is like his reminder. That is something that reminds him of this girl that he likes. And looking um, at the star, he is reminded of her. And because it is like flickering, um, I would have been like, hmm, is that an airplane or <laughs> is that a is that a star? But I mean, it's a star. But looking at it, it's like shining and sparkling. And then he he like. He just thinks to himself, ooh, was that a wink? 
uh, meaning that um, he's kind of hopeful that that she also likes him the way that he likes her. Okay, so that is stanza one. Strofe twee. Jai is so nabij, soos die helderste ster. Jai is die spoed van die gedachte weg van my. So, uh, hier die spreker praat nou direct met sy geliefde. A geliefde is loved one. And he says, um, Jai is so nabij. You are so close. Like the brightest star. Okay. So that's a simile, okay, a vergelijking, to say that you are as close as the brightest star, because um, we know that is the star that seems the closest to earth. Um, but that is very ironic to say, like, I mean, I can tell my loved one that Jai is so nobody on my, just my heart, you know. <laughs> Because my heart is within me and it's like I carry you all around. But to say to someone, Jai is so novice, is the helder star, is actually ironic because the star is very, very far. Okay, so that's just an example of irony. But let them be, they are in love. Jai is the spoot van a gedachte weg van mij. That's more realistic. Ne? So, you are the speed of a thought away from me. And I mean, that is just actually saying you are constantly with me because our thoughts are continuous and just here. So um, he's saying, So really um, emphasizing that he actually thinks of her all the time. If you look there in line seven, you see the apostrophe S. Now, the apostrophe S is there because it's actually Elisi. So, Elisi is when you put the apostrophe in the place of a, a, a letter. So, in this case, an often a vowel or um, a syllable. In this eindelijk, jij is, of jij is, but we read it as jij um, and the reason for that is the function of the elisi, the funksi van the elisi, is om te help met die ritme van die gedig. So elisi usually, almost always, contributes to the, the rhythm of the poem. Goed, so as ons daar kyk, my extra nota as die planeet Venus is ook bekend as die helderste ster. So when we read in line 6, Jai is so nabij soos die helderste ster, we again talk about um, the evening star or then Venus. So, so I want you to remember like, so the evening star, the brightest star, all of them, both of those refer to Venus. Okay. So the planet Venus is ook bekend as the helderste star. Strofe 1 en 2 word aan mekaar gebind dier die woorde aanstaar. In helderste star wat verband daar met mekaar. So there's a connection between stanza 1 and 2 because he is again talking about the star. So again this picture of this guy who likes this girl and um, looking at the star even though not together makes him think of her and makes him feel that she's close to him. She's in his thoughts. Um, there at the bottom, we see a contrast. Um, die geliefde is so nabij soos die helderste ster, wat eindelijk ver is. En sy is so nabij soos die gedachte, die spoed van die gedachte, wat nabij of vinnig is. So that's also two contrasting things. So line 5 and 6 and line 7 and 8, you, we see a contrast. Um, the one is, so nabij um, is, well, ja, yeah. Die gedachte is nabij, maar die ster is ver. Oké. Okay. Goed, en dit is strofe 2. Strofe 3. Ek los een boodskap by Venus vir jou. As jy uit jou aandklaas kom, stiek uit jou hand, haal dit af. Goed. So he says to her now, Ek los een boodskap by Venus vir jou. I'm leaving a message um, at Venus for you. So again, in this third stanza, we see that he refers to this star, okay? 
So this star he's been gazing at, um, he says to her, I'm leaving a message at Venus for you. As Jay at your aunt class come, that's a that's a in yam vement ne because you have to read from line ten to line eleven the first word. As Jay at your aunt class come, so he's saying when you come out of your evening class, so we're assuming she's a student, maybe a part time student, the young mid twenties, young early twenties. So he's saying when you come out of your evening class, stick at your hand. Okay, in and um, hold it off. So he actually is inviting her, saying that when you come out of your class and it's an evening class, so it's going to be dark, look up at the sky and see if you can see Venus, the brightest star, the evening star. Okay, because if you look at that, you will get my message. All right, his virtual um, message, it's not a real tangible message it's just it's there when she looks at it she should know okay you know um in your uh, mind you know take out your put out your hand and hold it off okay we again see the inkeeping uh, die functie hier is om die uitsteek van die hand te beskryf of die beklem te win, so that motion all right and then we see a double pint meaning that Something will follow, an explanation. Maybe this message that he's leaving for her. What message is he leaving for her? Um, I neglected to say that in line 9, at the end there's an andachstreep, which again also fixes the attention on what is going to follow. Um, and I think it's important there at the top where I say that it is as if Venus, this planet or bright star, is the uh, She's um, the messenger, or yeah, the boetskapper between the two loved ones. And let's see, guys, what the, it ends with. So, as jy a close for jou boetskap by Venus, dis die briefie met die swinkie op die omslag. So, he's leaving her a briefie. What do we write in briefies? We usually write words of love or, you know, especially if it's to someone that we like. So, so he possibly wants her to think of all the words that he would use to tell her how much he likes her or loves her. And so he tells her, when you look up at Venus, know that there's a little briefie for you, a letter. It's the one with the kiss of the omslag. And the omslag is the cover, all right? And um, I don't have an example here, but I want you to imagine there's two envelopes in this slide, but I want you to imagine that um, when, especially, I don't know, in the time I grew up or in the olden days, maybe people still do it, but when you end a letter, especially a love letter, you will write X, and the X actually is like a sign of love or a kiss. And... Um, or you can use an asterisk, okay, an asterisk that we use in when typing. So the idea is the writer is creating the picture of a asterisk or a little star or a cross on the cover to actually represent a kiss. Okay, so he is saying, let me just take my face away here, let me just see. So, die verkleiningsvorm word gebruik om liefde oor te dra, dat is enja om bemend. So, basically, this whole poem is a liefdesgedigie, and this guy just wants when his girlfriend, or I don't know if they're girlfriends, if they're dating, if it's his girlfriend, but when she looks at the star, he wants her to know that and especially when it's the star is shining like an X or a crazy, that that is the kiss or the uh, the love he has for her. So yeah, the boetskapper um, is actually this personification in our in our title because um, the boetskapper um, is then actually Venus, the planet Venus or the brightest star. Um, it's a it's personification because we are giving a human 
characteristic to a non-human thing. We are saying that the Boetskapper, the person who brings the message, is the planet Venus. That is the planet Venus, which is bekend as the Aanstaar of the elderste star. Die woorde beklem toon wie die boodskapper van die liefde moet wees. Okay? So, interestingly, I haven't said it yet, but Venus, um, Venus was also the Roman goddess of love. Right, so Roman was the Roman goddess of love. So, those who are into their um, mythology, um, Roman mythology. Um, so, it's very applicable that the message is left with um, the planet Venus, because it is also then represents a place of love, and it should be a safe place to leave a love message, and it should be a safe person to give the message to your loved one. The kern gedachte van die boodskap wat gesê word is die liefde vir die jou of die geliefde. Amper klaar. So Venus, die aanstaar of die helderste star, is die boodskapper, en dit is letterlijk is hierdie Star is letterlijk ver van die aarde af en daar is nie rechtige boodskap of briefie nie, maar wanneer die geliefde die star sien vonkel of skitter, moet sy weet dat die boodskap wat die star uitbeeld of verteenwoordig is dat die spreker elke oomlik van haar dink en lief is vir haar. Die thema graad 11 is liefde, 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 liefde en die, die stemming of the tone or atmosphere is a playful love tone. Goed. En dit bring ons aan die einde van ons gedig. Ek hoop julle dit geniet. Um, julle kan vir my gaan kyk na die gedigse ontleding om julle notas aan te vul. So you have to make sure your notes are, ja, you have been taking notes of all the lines and the stanzas. There's some extra notes online. And then uh, there will be a few questions also coming your way. And you can expect a quiz on this poem possibly then on Friday or whenever um, we see each other again. Have a lovely day. Bye.